That makes sense. He did the same for you. Um, uh, I want to bring you more. I want to bring you more. And we've got... There is more. There is more. Do not fucking doubt me on this, Chris Collision. There are three more readers, and the first one's name is Boot Rain Gear. Hello, Minneapolis. I, I stand amongst the fan fiction killing fields. <laughs> yeah, you do. F plus live, where fan fiction goes to die. So... <laughs> Alright, so, so when, when Lemon announced what our topic was going to be this year, I thought, oh, that's easy. All I have to do is find some Margaret Thatcher fan fiction. <laughs> Preferably one where she's paired with somebody from Harry Potter. So I did. Hot. So, <laughs> some Margaret Thatcher and uh, Cornelius Fudge uh, romance fiction. But, and I thought Cornelius Fudge is a funny way of spelling Severus Snape, but whatever. <laughs> Expelliarmus my semen. <laughs> Nice. Um, Hi, boots. But here's the problem. It sucked. It sucked. And there was other Margaret Thatcher fan fiction. Some of it was the Margaret Thatcher from down south, who's a completely different person. Do south. Uh, so I was just like, you know, I, I'm not going to find the fiction I want to read. The Margaret Thatcher, Severus Snape romance fiction. Well, I figured, yeah, I should probably just make my own, but I don't know how. Please tell me you didn't do what I think you did. So I, I contacted my friend Montreth. <laughs> so, so you did and, do what I think you did. As she recommended me to a, a, a website, I don't know if any of you have heard of it before, where you learn how to do things. <laughs> Yahoo Answers? No, it's WikiHow. No! <laughs> never before in the history of humanity, and never again in the history of humanity, will people be that excited about WikiHow. <laughs> All in one room. Um, so. <laughs> So if you want to get into the fan fiction writing, because I know you're all excited about it, so much wonderful works of art lies in debris on the stage here. <laughs> Great. Um, I'm going to get you through a couple of articles that will help you get to where you want to be. So I'm starting with one titled How to Write and Survive in the Fan Fiction World. Fan fiction is a story that fans write about the characters from books, movies, TV shows, etc. that they like. Believe it or not, the fan fiction world is incredibly harsh. Here, we'll show how to write Real and survive in the fan fiction world. Part one of two, writing fan fiction. Step one, get your ideas straight. If you write a short story and feel that it's good enough to go into the fan fiction world, you are greatly mistaken. <laughs> Fact. When you write, you should add expressions in your paragraphs. If you just write, I fell down the stairs, she, he said, people will get aggravated at how you didn't add anything else. Try, I fell down the stairs, he slash she wailed as they clutched insert body part here. Oh, no. <laughs> Step two, be open-minded. In the fan fiction world, there are a lot of things such as incest, sex, rape, violence, etc. If you're close-minded, this isn't the place for you to be writing your stories. 
Uh, step three, short chapters usually don't catch the reader's eyes. <laughs> Fan fictions that are 200 to 300 words usually don't get noticed. When you write a chapter, try writing about 699 to 1500 words instead. Uh, update. Please do not, in fact, do that. Do not do that at all. <laughs> Use cliffhangers to captivate your reader and try to get them to continue reading your story. Uh, and then part two, surviving the harshness of the writing world. <laughs> Step one, you open your email and see a review. You get excited and open it, but see that it's a horrible, cruel review. There are two things. Guilty. That you can do to survive harsh reviews. And uh, I guess the first thing is step two. <laughs> Choose to moderate your reviews. Why Have them submitted to you before they're put on the internet for others to see. That's nice. And number three, get over it. If you can't handle the reviews, don't write stories. Fan fiction is harsher than people think. You should be able to handle what people say to you before you start writing. So, scene so now that you know, yes, yeah, scene change. <laughs> Click. Oh, uh, there was an important thing about that. Uh, one of the related articles to that was how to get your boss to like you. <laughs> Number one, keep so, your emails between 699 and 1500 words. So now that you're over your fear of writing your Severus Snape and Margaret Thatcher fan fiction, how do you write a believable pregnancy fiction? Because, you know, you want Margaret Thatcher to get pregnant with Severus Snape's baby, but you need to know how to make it believable. So many people enjoy writing fan fiction about their favorite characters getting pregnant, and many fail in the most epic proportions. Here's how to write a believable pregnancy fan fiction. Step one, choose which characters get pregnant and who the father is. It's a good idea to make a list of all possible pairings that could result in pregnancy before you pick ones you're going to use. <laughs> Everyone! Make sure the two characters are compatible mates and not just two characters that you think have cute children. If your chosen fandom lacks compatible mates or fe males or females, you may need to add an original character. It's certainly okay for more than one character to get pregnant. Perhaps pregnancy tests were mixed up and some girls think they're pregnant when they're actually not. And the girls who are actually pregnant are wondering what's happening. Or maybe one girl's faking because she wants her boyfriend to not dump her. Yeah, it, it's, it's upsetting, but it's believable, right? Uh, step two. <laughs> think about how the pregnancy will affect the characters' lives. How will the mother feel when she finds out? How will the father feel? Does she even know who the father is? Will being pregnant keep her from doing her job? How will this affect the lives of others? You may want to make a chart of all possible effects of the pregnancy. Yeah, and then uh, step three, decide how the baby will be conceived. In many fan fictions, the, the girl wakes up one day, <laughs> the girl wakes up one day and suddenly she's pregnant. Any fan fiction written like this makes it sound like the author never passed health class. It happened to my girlfriend. Really? Congratulations? If you haven't studied this in health class, you probably are too young to write one of these. That's not true. Oh wait, no, that is true. Never. So here's, here's an important thing here. There are basically four ways for your character to get pregnant. But so number one... Number one, she's in a committed relationship and they've been trying for a while. If this is your first fan fiction, start with this one because it's the easiest. Uh, second option, she had a one night stand and or her birth control failed. So that's, that's half of our options. Number three, and this one, this one just comes up so much. She has a disease or condition that caused her to have low fertility rate and didn't see birth control as being necessary. And uh, there's a, a, a parenthetical here. Uh, do not give a canon character a condition like this if she does not can only have one. And also, this is a, 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 a canon character as a character that is a very large gun. <laughs> and number four is she was... Yeah, let's not do that one. Uh, step good. four. 
decide how your character finds out she's pregnant. Does she take a pregnancy test? Does her doctor tell her? Does she miss her period? Is she wounded in battle and the medics find out while using their equipment to check her wounds? What? What do you mean, what? No, no, no. The word you were looking for was gross. Oh, uh, I'm going to skip to step six. This is an important one when you're writing any sort of fiction. Uh, decide what the offspring will look like and what their powers will be. <laughs> Uh, all the children's physical features should run in the family of at least one parent. Their powers should also be inherited. It might be easier to draw the children or refer to your drawings when describing them. Uh, and I have some tips and warnings. Uh, tips? Both parents should not be original characters. <laughs> sensible, sensible. Done and Fan done. Fan fiction. Fan fiction. Okay. Uh, here's an important tip. Avoid male pregnancies at all costs. Wait, 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 wait. Shh, 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 shh. I'm not done. I am not finished. Avoid male pregnancies at all costs unless there is some odd reason for it. I have some thoughts on that. Uh, do not destroy canon. You know, that canon. Uh, do not destroy canon so two characters you like can have a kid together. Never, never. <laughs> Throw it all away. Do something else. And uh, the children that are the outcome of a pregnancy fix should not have some type of special power that at least one parent didn't have, nor should there be any type of chosen one, especially if the mother or father is an original character. Have you read Harry Potter? What? what? Yeah, I've read Harry Potter. Severus Snape is hunky and likes to have sex with men. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty good reading of Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, and now I have some warnings. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do not have the character suddenly skinny and then ready, ready to do whatever is needed right after she gives birth. This is unrealistic. Unlike the rest of it. Uh, <laughs> do not use WebMD for research. <laughs> Keep it locked on WikiHow, kids. Uh, do not make the father someone you would like to have children with. Uh, and also, do not have hybrid children in stories about fandoms where hybrids would probably not exist, like Pokemon. I need more on that. Yeah, yeah what? I don't, I don't understand. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's all it says. I can't, can't elaborate We're on that. We're going home. We're Googling. You have to find like the, the 500 or so editors that put together that are. Wait, wait. Out. So what you're saying is you, you were unable to find an article that was how to ensure that you don't have hybrids in non-canon Pokemon fucking fanfic? Well, you can fucking find that. I don't care. <laughs> uh, somebody just got a sarcastic high five. All right. You guys want some more fucking WikiHow articles? Yeah! <laughs> All right. I got I to gotta go quickly through a couple of these. This one's how to make your own fantasy world. I got to go right and put this, this two steps. And the second step is think up a name for your world. Yeah! Uh, you can change it later if you like, but it's good to start somewhere. One way to do is use your own name as a basis. For example, Lilithopia has a nice sound to it, especially if it's a pretty world filled with flowers. Zactopia? Maybe not so much. <laughs> but, it, but if you drop the topia bit and call that Zach Chan or even Zach, you might have a good start. Uh, you could just say some random cool sounding thing like Caillou, Mikvar, maybe even a play on words. Guess what Cataclyapa would be like? Okay. Oh, thank you. That was a play on words, apparently. Having the clap? Yeah, yeah it's having the clap, yeah. Uh, names of cities in foreign countries can be used as well. For example, Revenik or Turan from Albania. I said it. All right. Uh, 
I've got one that's called How to Overcome a Disturbing Fan Fiction, and that's the funniest part of that. <laughs> but so so Montreth helped me out with this. It, and Montreth is the best. I'd like she needs a round of applause. She is our Woo! for those of you who don't know, she's our friend from Finland. And she puts her brain through the most terrible horrors for us. Um, but she also has a tendency of going off on tangents. So I said to her, I was thinking of doing WikiHow for F Plus Live, and she said, Oh, I can help you with that. And she sent me like, you know, twenty articles. And then she said, Well, TV Tropes has has a bunch of guides on fan fiction. Oh no. And I said, Well, that's cool, but WikiHow is sort of my gimmick. And she and she's like, No, no, no. Here. And she sent me like a like a billion TV Tropes articles that are probably gonna show up in some episode of horrors. <laughs> but I've I've got my favorite my favorite sentence from all these links that I read. It's just like, just it's like, one sentence? Yeah. It's from the article, So You Want to Write a Badass. And this is a tip for understanding what a badass is. Look around at the next LARP you attend. Nope. Nope. <laughs> the guy issuing the orders is probably not a real badass. The guy who he issues them to, who just nods his head and goes away, is a badass. Especially if it results in a half dozen casualties. Words to live by. My friend Boots Rangear!